Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at a kinetic reactor using aspen hyses. Let's say we are working with a simple equation here whereby we are reacting nitrogen and hydrogen to form ammonia. So I am first going to start under properties by specifying my components. Next is to now specify our method and we can say we are going to be using the Pang Robinson. Now let's go to the simulation itself. We have there a flow diagram whereby we have an inlet stream, our plug flow reactor and the outlet stream. For the inlet stream, we can specify the conditions such as the temperature and the pressure we can say we are feeding at 250 degrees celsius and 150 bar we can also specify the molar flow rate that's flowing in now let's look at our reactor for the reactor we are going to say it's an adiabatic reactor the configurations there we can say we have at least 40 number of tubes the reactor length there it's 4.88 meters and the diameter 0.025 meters for our reaction inside of our reactor we are going to write there the stoichiometric reaction of our balanced equation we the reactants are negative and the product will be positive in terms of kinetics this information you can get from literature specifically for my ammonia synthesis this is what i got the first term there um it's for my forward reaction and for the second term it's the reverse reaction i also specified the coefficients of each reaction lastly we can also specify our adsorption term once you've done everything under your reaction kinetics the next step now is to look at our catalyst we can specify and say yes we are going to have a catalyst within our system with a voltage of 0.33 and also a density of 1200 kilograms per meter cubed after you react everything you should get your results on aspen hysis there was some conversion there for me but i wasn't entirely happy as you can see in my feed stream there was zero ammonia but after the reaction took place with the aid of a catalyst List, we had some ammonia starting to form within our product stream. Lastly, we can also analyze our profile. And what it helps us is that at every reactor length, we specify that our reactor will be 4.88. It will show you different parameters such as the residence time or the time it takes for your reaction to take place. We can also look into our residence time there. As you can see there, our reaction really does take place really quickly, super fast in terms of hours and seconds. So yes, this was just the basic knowledge on how you can use your aspen on how to design a kinetic reactor obviously you can modify this but i was just giving you guys the basics i hope this helps till next time bye